Vigilante, wow. Of course I hate these people. And let's all hate these people because maybe hate is what we need if we're going to get something done. I mean, it's incredible when a, a reporter asks no. me whether or not I have compassion for the people that did this crime. Uh, I have absolutely it, no compassion. Uh, how about a A well-educated black has a tremendous advantage over a well-educated white in terms of the job market. And I think sometimes a black may think that they don't really have the advantage or this or that but in actuality today currently it's uh it's a it's a great i've said on occasion even about myself if i were starting off today i would love to be a well-educated black because i really believe they do have an actual advantage today i said i believe i have more indian blood in my veins than you have and I have none. They don't look like Indians to me, and they don't look like Indians to Indians. I would like to have him show his birth certificate. And can I be honest with you? I hope he can. Because if he can't, if he can't, and if he wasn't born in this country, which is a real possibility, I'm not saying it happened, I'm saying it's a real possibility, much greater than I thought two or three weeks ago, then he has pulled one of the great cons in the history of politics. Was it a birth certificate? You tell me. You know, some people say that was not his birth certificate. So maybe you, it was, maybe it wasn't. You don't, I don't believe know. it was his birth certificate? No, I don't know. I'm saying I don't know. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. Negotiating with China, when these people walk in the room, they don't say, Oh, hello, how's the weather? It's so beautiful outside. Isn't it lovely? How are the Yankees doing? Oh, they're doing wonderful. Great. They say, we want deal. Do you want to renegotiate deals? We, some of us renegotiate deals. I would say about 99.9. Is there anybody that doesn't renegotiate deals in this room? This room negotiates. A, I want to renegotiate this room. Perhaps more than any room I've ever spoken to. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. Uh, look at my African-American over here. Look at him. Are you the greatest? He's a Mexican. We're building a war between here and Mexico. The answer is, he is giving us very unfair rulings. Rulings that people can't even believe. This case should have ended years ago on summary judgment. Our inner cities, African-Americans, Hispanics, are living in hell because it's so dangerous. You walk down the street, you get shot. Are you going to include the CBC, Mr. President, in your conversations with your, your urban agenda, your inner city agenda, as well as... Am I going to include Are who? you going to include the Congressional Black Caucus and the Congressional Well, Hispanic I would. Caucus, I tell you what. Do you want to well set up the, the meeting? CBC Do you want to set up the meeting? No, no, no. I'm, are they I'm, friends I'm, of I'm yours? I'm no, I think there's blame on both sides. You look at, you look at both sides. I think there's blame on both sides, and I have no doubt about it, and you don't have any doubt about it either. You were here long before any of us were here. Although we have a representative in Congress who they say was here a long time ago. They call her Pocahontas. But you know what? I like you, because you are special. According to the New York Times, he complained that the 15,000 Haitian immigrants who received visas in 2017 all have AIDS. In that very same meeting, the Times reports, he said that once the 40,000 Nigerian immigrants given visas arrived in the U.S., they would never go back to their huts. The White House denies this report. The Post reports that according to two people briefed in the meeting, the president asked, quote, why are we having all these people from shithole countries come here, referring to African countries? In Haiti, the president then went on to talk about how they needed to bring in more people from places like Norway. In a new and truly stunning attack on his former White House aide and former primetime co-star Omarosa Manigat Newman, this is what the president just wrote, quote, when you give a crazed, crying lowlife a break and give her a job at the White House, I guess it just didn't work out. Good work by General Kelly for quickly firing that dog.